Hey! How's everybody doing? How's it going? Thought I'd jump on real quick and do a just a quick video, just for the hell of it. You know, why not? Uh, before I head to bed, I'm getting a little sleepy. Uh, yeah. I'm tired. Normally I don't I don't get tired. I mean it's only ten o'clock. Normally I honestly most of the time if I try to go to bed, like at this time normally. I sit there and line, my mind wanders and uh you know I never fall asleep till like 12 12 30 but I'm actually feeling a little tired so uh, maybe I can actually fall asleep a little bit earlier tonight and actually get a little little bit more sleep like normal people do uh, I normally average about three hours so yeah, we'll see but I wanted to jump on and uh, share part of my mail day today. I got two things in the mail. Um, well, other than my utility bills. Yeah. Those are about $300 all together. But that's just that's for like electric and my water and sewage and you know it's pretty much everything but my heat. You know my heat is, is gas. It's separate but you know Electric and water and everything's wrapped up into one bill. So, $300. So. Which is... That's about normal. You know, we're getting into the colder... Colder weather. So, uh, you know, the the electricity part of it's going to be a little bit higher because of the furnace and so forth kicking on and off. But, yeah. So, outside of bills, which are never fun but necessary evil right uh, although I do take a little bit of satisfaction of being able to sit down I know this sounds weird I know I'm weird I'll admit it but I actually get get a little satisfaction of uh, you know come come payday uh, coming home and sitting down and, and paying those bills I mean do I genuinely enjoy watching my paycheck just disappear because I'm paying bills? Well, no. But, do I feel a sense of accomplishment being able to pay my bills? Yeah, I do. So, it's not all bad. <clears throat> but the fun stuff that I got in the mail today was this little box from Mystery Grail dot com aka seven bucks a pop check out the links below whenever you buy a mystery grail which drop at 3 p.m. Eastern on Sundays every Sunday it always comes with a little scratch out card and that scratch out card you can win stuff you can win like pop protectors you can win pops you can you know, they have all kinds of different stuff you can win but most of them are for tokens you know, from 200 to 500 I don't know whether they have ones that go higher than that but you get tokens and as you add you know add these tokens up then you can go into the website and then trade your tokens in for something so that's what I did I went in and traded I think like 1100 of my tokens uh, for a pop I think that's how much I did. might have been a little bit more than that but so we're gonna open up the pop that I got by trading my tokens in and then I also have here a, a box from Cemetery Dance Publications, a.k.a. Richard Kismar. He's like the uh, the main guy behind the CEO. I don't know exact, exactly what his title, editor-in-chief, obviously, but I don't know whether it has another title besides that. But, yeah, I can't remember which book this is. It could be a signed book. It could be just a, a trade um, you know, hardback, uh, I don't know what, I believe what it was, was, uh, you know, this past year, every month, I was given, like, ten dollars in credit, um, through the year, and then you can go on and use those to get stuff, so I went in and used some of that, uh, to get this book, whatever it is, I don't remember. I don't know. 
thing was with Cemetery Ends Publications. Again, link below. Check them out. Uh, a lot of the stuff that they do is like pre-order stuff, and you pre-order literally months, if not a year, sometimes two years in advance. Uh, and we all know me and how wonderful my memory is on occasion. So, you know, something that I I might have, you know, that, that might have been available, you know, two years ago or that I might have ordered two years ago or whatever. Obviously, I, you know, this would have been two years ago because I just was getting the, the uh, basically like the gift certificates, if you will, you deposited into my, my account on there this past year or so. But it was still probably a few months ago when when I ordered this. And, uh, it might have been something that they had in stock and it just now shipped, or it might have been something that I, I pre-ordered a few months ago and it just finally got released. I don't know. I don't remember what it is. So. We'll find out. What's well, up the pop first? I believe the pop I got was... Um, I want to say the newest Mad Max, the Fury Road uh, movie. Um, can't remember what the character's name is, but I do remember that it was a limited, limited pop. So. Erectus Rectus. Limited to 7,500 pieces. So, there we go. Yeah, actually, I don't think I've actually watched that. Or maybe I did watch that. Yeah, because that's the one that's got Charlie Theron in it. Right? I, I think I'm pretty sure I did. I did watch it, but I'll probably have to go back and watch it again because I don't. I don't recall a lot about it. But. It's pretty cool. This would be a good one to get maybe like a. Get signed. If the person that, that played that character does like signings or conventions, that might be something I'd like to do eventually. Is you know my pops is as I'm able to like go to conventions and stuff instead of getting photos um, signed. You know, take my uh, you know very carefully. Maybe take the pops out. Of the boxes and very carefully fold the boxes down so they're flat put something in between each one and then you take a couple of them to a convention and then have those actors sign the the pop and then maybe get it you know because normally at conventions they'll have like either Beckett or JSA or PSA you know somebody there that does authenticating you know for for autographs so you know I can get it authenticated at the same time uh, yeah so yeah so basically you know I got, got that pop for technically for free I mean as far as money wise um, but yeah I traded in my uh, my tokens on Mr. Grail and got this pop cool huh Let's see I don't think there's anything else in this Uh, you know, it's just saying the yeah, prize Rick this Mad Max number 527 the 2018 spring convention exclusive only 7,500 made alright now Let's see what book this is. I think I've actually got a couple of books on order from Cemetery Dance, but like I said, some of them, you know, I I pre-ordered. Um, you know, 
way back when, and you know, they haven't been actually published yet. And of course, because I join Cemetery Dance every year, they do a uh, it's like the the Readers Club or Collectors Club. And it's usually like a hundred dollars or something like that. Or maybe it was more than that. I don't remember how much it was this time. Basically, like every time they're dropping something, or every time because there's other like some other publishers that they work closely with. And whenever they are able to get some copies from like exclusive books from those publishers, you know, as a member of the collectors club, I get like an email before their general like newsletter subscribers to know about it. And normally we get like discount codes off of uh, you know stuff they're releasing in some of these other publishers. Yeah. yeah. 10% off, 20% off, sometimes it's 30, 40% off. And then like each each time you get there's some special perks and like special items that you get through the year as they're released just as part of the collector's club. Like I'll get a signed exclusive release um, when it finally you know eventually comes out that will never be done again. And it's only the only way you can get it is by being a member of the collectors club for that year. So, that's good. All right, so let's see what we got. Looks like we got. Oh, okay, yeah. I remember ordering this now. Um, if, if, if you're a fan of horror, that's mostly what they do is is they specialize in in horror or suspense, mystery, that that type of thing. Uh, occasionally they have kind of like fantasy or like sci-fi type books, but it's mainly horror. Um, but if you're a big fan, if you've never read Bentley Little, I recommend reading some of his books. He's a very prolific artist. I mean, I don't know how many books books he's got out now. But I mean, it's got to be 40, 50, somewhere in there. Uh, but yeah, just amazing author. I've read a few of his books. I got a number of his books um, in my library. Uh, a lot of them I haven't read because I just haven't had time. Eventually, you know, I will. One day, but uh, yeah. So this is one of the uh, one of the ones I say I didn't have, and it's a, it's a hardback, which I'm you know I like. If I'm gonna buy books, I prefer to get hardback books. I don't like paperback books because then as you read them, the the covers get kind of curved and yeah. I'd rather I'd rather spend the extra money and get the hardback book. <clears throat> but I paid. Uh, I paid $25 for it, and it looks like I got a 25% discount, which took off $625, so I basically paid $1875 for shipping handling with $7.57. So the invoice total was twenty six thirty two, but I had my my credit, so I just paid for it with that. But this is the book Gloria by Bentley Little. Pretty cool cover. I mean, she's kind of creepy looking. Her black eyeballs. And this is just the, just like the trade. Yeah. It's not like a signed copy or anything. See, I'll read you, I'll read you the blurb here. With, you know, in case you're not a book aficionado, the blurb is what they commonly refer to as like the little 
synopsis on the inside of the uh, the cover here. Occasionally, you know, they'll put it on the back. But Gloria by Bentley Little. Considering she had just attended her mother's funeral, Gloria James never expected to see the woman again, but then her dead mom shows up at her house. Gloria's mom is different. She's younger than when she died, dressed in clothes from the 1980s, and nobody else in Gloria's family seems to recognize her. As Gloria tries to figure out the reason for her mother's reappearance and the odd behaviors the woman begins to exhibit, other bizarre events occur. The changes to Gloria's world are small and subtle at first. Then they become much more startling. The freaky situation might just be connected to a mysterious shed in a small California town. The strangers who gather around the shed seem to know Gloria's name, and maybe they aren't strangers after all. With Gloria, Bentley Little presents one of his most complex and compelling novels, one that is certain to surprise readers on every page. So, it definitely sounds a little freaking creepy, doesn't it? That freaked the shit out of you, wouldn't it? Somebody you thought died just pops up looking younger than when they died? Yeah, no thanks. The hell away from me, weirdo. Yeah. But, I like that. I like that weird, creepy stuff. So, I'll be looking forward to eventually reading that. When? I don't know. Probably a year from now, but I'll eventually get around to it. Well, there we go. That's it. That was my little meltdown. I know that's a, kind of a long video for just two items, right? But hey, that's me. You know, I ramble, I ramble, I ramble. You know, deal with it. If you enjoyed the video, give me a thumbs up. I'd greatly appreciate it. If you're not a subscriber, by all means, subscribe. Um, and uh, as always, you know, stay safe and stay healthy. Take care of yourself and look out for yourself and those around you. Until the next video, when that'll be, who knows. Probably soon. Long way to know.